This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Oh, oh. Hello everyone, this is Taboo Conspiracy again. This video is primarily for the honest skeptics of the Flat Earth, but I hope that everyone will enjoy it. Despite how difficult it may be, I simply ask you, as an honest, objective, reasonable person, to set aside your indoctrination and belief in the globe, at least temporarily, and examine the evidence that I'm going to share with you today. I believe the Flat Earth evidence here is dispositive, and I think you'll find it compelling as well. Flat Earth is certainly a very difficult truth to accept, because the ramifications are so great. But we do indeed live on a flat and stationary Earth. According to the globe model, all bodies of water, including the Great Salt Lake, must have a certain degree of convexity to them. As Samuel Robotham wrote in 1849, if the Earth is a globe and is 25,000 English statute miles in circumference, the surface of all standing water must have a certain degree of convexity. Every part must be an arc of a circle. From the summit of any such arc, there will exist a curvature or declination of 8 inches in the first statute mile. In the second mile, the fall will be 32 inches. In the third mile, 72 inches or 6 feet as shown in the following diagram. I have continued the numbers up to 200 miles. All water must have this convexity if the globe was a reality, but this earth curvature does not exist anywhere. Now, this laser test took place on Saturday, January 16th, 2021, at the Great Salt Lake in Utah, between Antelope Island State Park and the Great Salt Lake Marina. I was located here on the northwest corner of Antelope Island. My friend Robert from FE Corps was located here on the south end of the Great Salt Lake near the Great Salt Lake Marina. I have the coordinates listed for both locations. The total distance between the two points was 21.03 miles. We both had our cameras and lasers at around 5 feet above the water. Hey everyone, this is Ben with Taboo Conspiracy. It is January 16th. Just about ready to hike out that way to get around the point there for doing a laser test around the bend there. And we're gonna be shooting the laser off towards 
the, the marina across the Great Salt Lake. The date is January 16th, 2021. And what you're looking at is the Great Salt Lake from the uh, Great Salt Lake State Park. So we're the south end of the lake. And uh, right there is Antelope Island. And our friend Ben is currently walking, hiking to a point, northwestern point of that island that as we calculate by Google Maps is 21 miles from this point here so I'm going to scout out a place it's a cold day I'm gonna try and scout out a place to set up a laser boat just went by so now we get a bunch of waves and you can see here Antelope Island another island off in the distance there there we go and then Back the opposite direction, we have, there we go, the Magnus Smokestack. It's getting ready to uh, start shooting the laser once the sun goes down. I'll be shooting the laser that direction. Let me read you off the coordinates that I'm located at. My latitude is 41.037384. My longitude is negative 112.278569. Here's a photograph of how my camera was set up standing in the water. Here's a photo of the laser. And here's a selfie. I also brought my two sons to manage the laser and the flashlight. Based on the globe curvature math, from an observation height of 5 feet and a distance of 21.03 miles, the curvature of the Earth should have been hiding 223 feet of the other shore. Here's another globe curvature calculator that reaches the same amount. In other words, Robert's laser and camera at 5 feet should have been 218 feet below the horizon if the globe was real. Or you could say, as another example, that Robert would have had to have been standing on something like this 218-foot cross to see my laser 21 miles away, or vice versa. That's huge. Do you see the door at the bottom there? But before I get to the laser, I wanted to share some other footage. Of course, I had to film the beautiful sunset. This is a great spot if you're like me and appreciate these views. I also filmed the Kennecott smelter stack, and you can see all the way to the bottom and to the beach. There is no earth curvature there. This video is already impossible under the globe. If you are claiming that I'm looking at a mirage, then you need to tell me where the mirage ends and the real line of sight begins. Compare this still from Robert's video that shows the stack from his point of view. Of course, it was cold out there in January, and the temperature dropped rapidly as it got dark, but the biggest problem was the fact that I did not have phone service on that corner of Antelope Island, and so I had no way to communicate with Robert. I mistakenly thought Robert would have been in front of the lights. I was actually just about to give up when my son said that they spotted Robert's laser in the distance. Sometimes you miss those things when you're trying to operate the camera as you're looking at that little screen. But let's watch the video, and please forgive my giddiness when I see the distant laser, as I was pretty excited. I see it. Yeah, I saw that. You saw what? The little flash over there. It's like yeah. to the right of the lights, a little yeah. bit. Okay. Yeah! Can you point over there? That was it. I caught it on footage just for a second, and then they turned, probably turned it off. Keep... Oh, it's to the right of the lights. Interesting. See, I was looking in the wrong direction. You guys saw it with your naked eyes? Yeah, I saw the blue over there. That's awesome. Oh, there he is! <laughs> I got it! 
Woo! <laughs> All right. So should I start trying to? No, just keep aiming it over there. Try to get closer. Try to move it around in that area because you might get a direct hit. So, <laughs> think about it. You can see the reflection on the water. So, the did the reflection and the laser hop the curvature? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, well, we got it. <laughs> Look at this still from the video. You can see that I have a direct line of sight as I'm looking straight at the intense source of the laser. I'm not seeing the laser from an angle. Also, notice the reflection of the laser on the water. As I said in the video, did both the laser and its reflection hop the curvature to present a false flat earth? Where did the massive earth bulge run off to? Unfortunately, because I didn't have any communication with Robert, we couldn't really perform any other tests. But here's Robert's video from the southern side. He didn't have a super zoom camera like the P900, but you'll still see my laser coming from the north. Matt from the Utah Flat Earth Group was there to help Robert with the filming. Let's watch Robert's video. Blue, blue. Okay, we're filming now because we've seen the laser a couple times. Oh, there it is, yes! Yes, yes, oh my gosh. Okay. How do you zoom on this? Can well, you? Just with your two fingers, just wide. Okay, okay. Try that. Oh, yeah, we can see it on camera. Yeah. There, it's coming from right over there. Okay, I want you to get my laser to show so that people can see what we see is the laser goes out absolutely straight. So just get it right here and see the beam going out there. You can see there's no bending, there's no curving, it's not going down or anything. It's just straight as an arrow. Yeah, that's a great shot of that. You can see it reflecting in the water even. That was Morse code for Ben. Oh, did you send it out? Just not it. B E N. I'm seeing something flash over there, but it's not blue right now. Nah, I think it might be having a little. There, there it is. There's the blue. Did you get it in the camera? Uh huh, got it in the camera. Am I hitting him? Yeah, you're pretty much right on now. Yeah, see, I saw his flash up in the air there. I'm going to try and, and bring mine up a little bit. See if... I mean, now that I've zoomed in, you can't see anything else, but you can still see the blue. His blue flash. His blue flash? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Great. That's 21 miles. 21 miles from from here to Great Salt Lake Visitor Center Marina over to Antelope Island. Yeah, the northern tip. The northern northwestern tip. Oh, oh there yeah, is. yeah, yeah. In order to maintain the globe narrative, some Globe propagandists will claim that the laser perfectly bent in an arc to match the Earth's curvature, but the claim is ridiculous. Obviously, I had a direct line of sight to the source of the laser here, and I had a direct line of sight with the base of the smelter stack. Nothing in the atmosphere causes lasers and images of distant objects to perfectly wrap around an imaginary Earth bulge so that the Earth bulge somehow disappears. I strongly recommend these videos from Dr. John D., who has a PhD, where Dr. John D. goes into much more detail regarding the impossibility of the arcing laser claim. Simply stated, this is not a mirage. I certainly had a direct line of sight with Robert's laser when it should have been 218 feet below the horizon. 
there is no earth curvature there. And if there's no curvature over the Great Salt Lake, then there's no curvature over any body of water. Therefore, the globe is false. Yes, we were all lied to. Flat Earth is a humbling fact. I understand. I used to be a globe believer too, up until just five years ago. But there is freedom in truth. A big thanks to Robert from FE Core. Simple but fantastic laser experiment conducted by some Romanians in Italy. This experiment again proves the Earth has no curvature as required by the globe model. I'll have the link in the description. Here was the location of the experiment in Italy. It was between Sperlonga and Terracina. The distance from the laser to the camera was 9.4 miles. The laser was 6.6 .6 feet off of the water as shown here. The leveled laser is the silver object on top of the telescope. This is the laser from the same location at nighttime. It's a pretty cool setup. The camera, 9.4 miles away from the laser, was at a mere height of 2 feet. From the camera's 2 foot position, the target hidden height at 9.4 miles should have been 39 feet, according to the globe math. You can see the low 2 foot camera height from the footage. Based on the globe's purported dimensions, the source of the laser at 6.6 .6 feet should have instead been 32.4 feet below the horizon. Here is the footage. What I love about this footage is the intensity of the laser. The intensity is unequivocal proof that the camera is filming the source of the laser, which again was supposed to be 32.4 feet below the horizon. This footage is impossible under the globe model. I don't understand why I feel compelled to keep putting out these proofs of the flat and stationary earth. Like many of you, many people in my family call me names and want nothing to do with me, simply because I dare point out the blatant inconsistencies and obvious lies surrounding NASA, heliocentrism, our phony institutions, and the false religion of scientism. The attacks hurt. They really do. I was attacked hard today by family, but I'm going to keep sharing proofs of the flat and stationary earth because it seems like it's the right thing to do. So I received this wonderful email from a subscriber named Lee with several flat earth evidence videos that I'm going to share with you today. I just love receiving these emails from people who are inspired to go out and test the shape of the earth themselves. I especially love this one because it included a husband and wife research team exemplifying what true independent science should be. I truly lament the fact that mainstream science has devolved from the pursuit of truth into a phony faith-based atheistic religion founded on diktat, top-down conformity, control, worthless degrees, and ridiculous theories devoid of experimentation, the scientific method, objectivity, observation, and common sense. But that's why we're here. We need to change all of that. And only the grassroots flat earth scientific revolution can do that, in my opinion. Now, these flat earth tests I'm going to present here today are fantastic and should cause any thinking, reasonable person to clearly see that the globe does not match our reality. Before I get into the evidence, this is my email address. Please email me if you would also like to share your genuine flat earth experiments, observations, videos, or your professional experiences regarding the flat earth. If they're good and I have the time, I'll try to share them with others. I don't make any money from my channel, and I have nothing to sell you whatsoever. I'm only here to share the truth to the best of my ability and build friendships with those few people who still love truth, regardless of its popularity. But let's get to those several amazing flat earth tests proving the earth is demonstrably flat. The first test we're going to look at was at Okanagan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. The laser and the high zoom camera were separated by a whopping distance of 16.4 miles. 
The laser was at four feet above the water, and the Nikon camera was set at two feet above the water. But there is also some cell phone footage of the laser at just inches above the water that I'll share in a bit. This is how the laser and the camera were set up far across from each other. I have the coordinates for the laser and the camera listed here, and the distance between the two points was 16.42 miles. At a laser height of 4 feet and a distance of 16.42 miles, according to their globe math, the observer would have to be at an amazing 130 feet above the water to see the source of the laser because the curvature of the Earth should be blocking his view. But it's not. In other words, you'd have to be at least as high as this 130-foot statue to see the source of the laser if we truly lived on a globe. Instead, the camera gets as low as inches above the water, and the source of the laser is still visible. Let's watch the footage of the laser, 16.42 miles away, and I'll also include the cell phone footage, synchronized with the Nikon footage. Okay, you're right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, flash. Flash. Oh, almost right on. Can you put it on steady? Oh, right in the camera. To your right a little bit. Oh, flash right there, yeah. Back left. Oh, flash. Yeah. Oh, dude. You're nailing it. Back to your right. Okay, to your left. You're coming around. Left, 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 here it comes. Down a bit. Boom. Can you keep it there? Yeah, I'll leave it there. Uh, so how high are you off the water? Four feet. Yeah, I'm two, two and a half feet here. So can you keep playing around? Like I can see the laser, just see if you can get it back and forth and get it right in my camera. Oh yeah, there. Uh, I'm gonna see how low I can get the cell phone down on the ground. Let's see how I can see. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got the cell phone at the laser, and I'm one foot off the water. Six inches off the water. Yeah, three inches off the water. Cell phone, hand touching the water. And yeah, pretty good, bud. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. Just uh, give me a few more flashes, and then we'll we'll call it a night. Okay. You saw all this go back and forth, left and right? Yeah, it's like, I could tell you. Down a bit, down. Did you see how the laser was visible by the cell phone only inches above the water? Under the globe model, he would have to be 130 feet above the water to see that laser. Without question, this lake is 100% flat. And that's impossible under the globe. Globe busted. Now let's take a look at the 10.4 mile test because the footage is fantastic. In this case they went to a different lake called Slocan Lake about 100 miles away from Okanagan Lake. This is where Lee is joined by his supportive and wonderful wife who is holding the flashlight. Even at 10.4 miles and a flashlight height of 6 inches the curvature of the earth should still hide 61 feet. But there isn't anything hidden. Let's watch. We can't use the walkie-talkies. Yeah, I can still see the light. It's crazy. Okay, Lee. Yeah, can you still see it? Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we are... Actually, I'd say we're half a foot above the water. Perfect. Hey, Mom. Okay. Yeah? You know those, like, kind of clam thingies we have? 
Okay, we're gonna I zoom found out. A piece of one on the beach. Don't worry about it, Evan. We're almost done. Okay. And this is where we are. We'll look around. And there we go. After the flashlight test, they pulled out the laser. I enjoy this one because the reflection of the laser is on the water. Another impossibility on an alleged curved surface. Okay, stop. God, you've been flashing me. You're almost blinding me. Get right there. Right, right there. That's it, buddy. That's it. I got both cameras going. Yeah, you're hitting it right on. Ten four. I copy the strobe. I didn't copy that. That was awesome. Finally, I'm going to show you one more test that Lee just performed a few days ago at the same 10.4 mile location. This time, the laser is in a mirror one foot above the water, meaning 57 feet should be hidden behind the curvature. In this next video, Lee has the camera here at 1.5 feet. Look closely. Do you think that he's filming a mirage of a laser that's actually hidden behind the curvature of the Earth? Or does Lee have a direct line of sight to the laser? It's obvious that is not a mirage. That is a direct line of sight to the laser source. Now he sets the camera to just inches above the water. This is with the camera resting right on top of the rocks. Now that is your flat earth reality right there. No question about it. Thank you everyone for watching. And I encourage everyone to share Lee's evidence. Well, with everyone. As always, you're welcome to mirror this video and share it in any way you want. No credit to me is necessary. This is only about spreading the truth. May God bless you with an unquenchable desire to know and share his truth, whatever it may be. Love to all. The control system, the global control system, wants us to focus on a dot. This is what it does in science with its specializations. You focus on one dot. And if you focus on a dot without peripheral vision, then you don't see how the dots connect, so you, you're in completely in the dark of the bigger picture. You only see one dot within it. Mama didn't tell me that the world is unreal Imaginary story of lies and the real The truth of lies and the truth of fairy tale is not a prince of ways I never get told what is real and true That's why I put truth out of the blue Never really did, no one really cares what our heart did hurt This world is 
The control system, the global control system, wants us to focus on a dot. This is what it does in science with its specializations. You focus on one dot. And if you focus on a dot without peripheral vision, then you don't see how the dots connect. So you, you're in completely in the dark of the bigger picture. You only see one dot within it.